Watch our new DIY project compilation. Let's create beauty together. In our today's project, we'll decorate a frame with foil imitating a pewter craft. Lay a protecting cover. We'll need a wide wooden frame, several lace pieces of various width, foil, double-sided tape, a hot glue gun, and scissors. Cut out the lace of proper length and embellish the frame. Secure with double-sided tape as it's a quick, safe, and neat means. Place the lace on the opposite side. Cut off the excess on the back. Attach the loose ends with a hot glue gun. We've made a chevron-like pattern. Now, repeat the lace ornament on the frame by squeezing hot glue to get small P-shaped drops. Draw some motif with a pencil. Trace it with the hot glue gun. We can start attaching foil with white glue. Add some glue with a brush. Cover the lace and hot glue pattern brushing thoroughly. Measure the foil at the frame size with extra space. Press against the frame and make the ornament visible by smoothing the foil with your fingers. You can use something hard but not sharp to define the pattern. Cut the foil with a pencil and fold across the inner side of the frame to continue the job. Continue defining the ornament with a dull flat spatula shaped tool. Let's paint the frame white. Add some water to make the lace paint well. Let it dry. If the lace didn't stick at the edges, attach it with the hot glue gun. This festive white pewter embossing imitated frame will be perfectly fit for a wedding photo. In this tutorial, we'll make a stunning wedding scrapbook to keep favorite photos. We'll need white paper, color cardstock, pins, and a black pen. Write down the word wedding in the center of a square paper sheet. You can print it out or cut it out from a magazine. Turn the paper over. Draw a big circle by hand. It's a leaf wreath base. Outline leaves of different sizes in one direction. Now, take a pin and start pricking each leaf. You can prick the outline first, then the inner part or vice versa. There is an embossed leaf on the front side. Continue. The process requires much time and patience. Keep your fingers safe, don't prick them. Keep in mind that the more holes you make, the more intricate the pattern will be. The paper should not be too thick. Be careful not to crumple the paper as it will be a front cover. This is it. Now, let's make the inner part of the scrapbook. Fold a piece of paper accordion style. The pleat width is about one inch. Let's attach the folded paper to the back side of the cover. Add white glue across the edge. Attach the accordion. Glue the pleats to attach the pages. You can make as many pages as you like. Let's make them of different color. Conceal the scrapbook spine. Attach a wide cardboard strip to the edge of the page. Turn the scrapbook over. Fold the strip, covering the spine. 
add glue and stick. The front cover will have a burgundy background. Add glue to the back side of the wreath page, slightly touching the surface with a brush. Attach to the background without pressing over the leaves. Add glue across the spine cover. Attach the front cover. Now, cut out several thin red strips. Twist them tight. Wind a strip around a pencil first. Then, roll up with your fingers. We've got such a pretty rose flower. Make a few more various sized roses. Cut out small green paper leaves. Let's place the roses and green leaves on the wreath thinking over the composition. Attach the embellishments. Carefully add glue with a brush. Done! We've made a cute wedding scrapbook to keep wonderful photos of happy wedding moments. In this video, we'll show two awesome wedding scrapbook ideas. We'll need color cardstock, ribbons, patterned paper, and embellishments. Take A4 cardboard. Place it horizontally and find the middle. Score the central line using an empty ballpoint pen. Fold it up. Draw a wedding cake on white embossed patterned paper. The lower layer is the widest. The middle one is a bit narrower. And the top one is the smallest. Cut it out. Take a white ribbon. We need three pieces a little wider than each layer. Done! Attach the ribbon using multi-purpose glue. We'll emphasize the layers with the ribbon. Glue the ends to the back side. Embellish the cake with the bead halves. Add glue to the ribbon. Start with the white beads. Alternate with the red ones. Use multi-purpose glue for non-paper elements. Choose the background for the scrapbook front side. Use a paper glue stick. Attach the cover element Let's make the background more attractive. Add patterned paper. We'll use double-sided foam tape to create a 3D cake effect. Distribute the tape over the back side of the cake to hold well. Keep in mind the tape's protecting cover. Attach to the front side. Let's add some embellishments. The creamy white roses will match well. Be careful not to overdo it with the number of details. And the finishing touch. We'll need black cardstock for the next scrapbook idea. Make a gate fold. Take the white embossed paper again to draw a bride's dress. Sketch on the back side to conceal the pencil trace.
cut it out. Add a couple of details to the dress. Make the top skirt. Draw one element first. Cut it out. Turn it over and trace to get two mirror image details. Cut it out. Done! Attach double-sided foam tape to the top skirt. Place the tape pieces across the inner edge. Attach to the dress to make it volumetric. Define the waistline with a ribbon belt. Use multi-purpose glue. Attach the belt. Glue the ends to the back side. Add the embellishments. Attach a couple of bead halves to the top of the dress. Use multi-purpose glue. Place a soft lilac rose to the belt. You can also use a tiny bow or some other embellishment instead. Now, let's draw a groom shirt. Outline the visible part. Cut it out. Cut out two triangles to make the groom's tail lapels. Add glue to the lapels. Attach them to the shirt. Cut off the excess. Draw a bow tie on the black cardstock. Cut it out. Attach it to the shirt. You can add some buttons. Place the elements on the base. Add glue. Don't forget to put the wish notes in. Cool! The fabulous wedding cards will become unforgettable handmade gifts to keep the memories about the wonderful moment for a long time. Do you feel like making an exploding box, but you've never done it? Don't worry, this tutorial is just for you. Today, we'll show how to surprise your friends with the fabulous gift. We'll make a three-layered exploding box. For the outer layer, we'll need colored cardstock 15 inches by 15 inches. Mark your cardboard every five inches along the border. Connect the marks with parallel lines. The cardboard looks like a tic-tac-toe board. Cut off the four corners. We've got the plus sign box base. Score up the lines with an empty ballpoint pen. Fold the cardboard along the lines, forming the walls. Crease the folds with the ruler to make them sharper. Make the middle layer in the same way using a smaller cardstock square. Trim the cardboard to 13 and a half inches. Mark it every four and a half inches. We'll need three identical plus sign layers. The measurements are getting smaller each time. Decorate the smallest inner layer of crimson color with scrapbook paper.
We've prepared 4 inch by 4 inch squares. Attach them with white glue. Add some embellishments, a tag, and a mini envelope. You can buy them in a handmade supply shop or make them from color paper. Take a 4 inch by 4 inch color square paper. Fold the diagonal. Unfold. Turn the diagonal corners to the center to overlap a little. Be careful to make the parallel creases. Fold the bottom up to cover the edge of the side flaps. Smooth the crease carefully. Fold in the corner. Bend the top flap down. Unfold the top and bottom. Apply the glue to the bottom edge. Fold it back again and press over. It'll take you a couple of minutes to make this charming little envelope. Decorate another square with cute hearted clothespins. They could hold a photo or nice picture. Use multi-purpose glue. You can purchase these embellishments at a special store or use the handmade ones. Take parchment paper. Outline simple images like a heart and lips. You can try a few variants of different size. Cover the images with hot glue. Don't worry about the outline. When dry, cut them out. The excess glue will be removed. Cover the heart with the stationary glue. Apply a thick coat with a brush. Spread glitter all over the heart. Shake off the excess. The sparkly scarlet heart is ready. Cover the lips with pink nail polish. When dry, add a central line between the upper and lower lips. Use a permanent marker. Outline the lips to make them more distinct. Make a cute little star embellishment. Apply a star sticker to a little color paper square. The unique handmade embellishments are ready. Attach them to the little decorative pins using the multi-purpose glue. Attach the red heart to the yellow pin the star to the red one, and the lips to the yellow one. The eye-catching decorative pins will embellish any paper craft. You can choose any simple image. It'll take a little time and effort and ordinary paper craft materials to make these beautiful handmade embellishments. Continue decorating the box. Add a tag to the heart-embellished wall and go to another square. Take a scrapbook paper square and make a gatefold. Cut out some wording or a picture. Put the picture in the gate folded paper. Attach to the base. Add a few brightly colored stars. Cute, isn't it? Prepare color paper for the fourth square. Attach each page across the top. You should get a small notepad. Add a tag. Now, let's decorate the central part. Take thick color paper 5 inches by 5 inches. Mark a 1 inch border around all four sides of your paper. Connect the marks with parallel lines. Score up the lines. Fold the scored lines. Starting at the lower right corner of your paper, cut the vertical line up to the horizontal line so that you have a little flap. Turn your paper 90 degrees and do this to every corner until you have four flaps. Fold the flaps clockwise and glue them to the sides to get a little box. We'll use the box as a stand for the gift. That's why we attach it to the central square upside down. Use the multi-purpose glue. Add a few sparkly stripes. We took the store-bought variety, but you can use the DIY one. Just spread the glitter over the paper stripes covered with glue. Place the central piece on the stand. It may be an accessory or embellishment. You can either glue it if it's a decorating element or put it on loose if it's a gift. Now we'll decorate the middle layer of the exploding box. 
Choose the pattern paper of the appropriate size. Attach to each wall. It can be color or scrapbook paper bought at the store, photos, or DIY printed paper. Take the material you like. Finally, we'll embellish the outer layer. It's the biggest. Decorate the walls in the same style. We've chosen the stunning pink flamingo pattern. It perfectly matches the background of the same color. Now it's time to assemble the box. Fasten the central squares of each layer, leaving the walls loose. Attach the inner layer. The exploding box is nearly ready. We're gonna leave the box alone for a while. Let's make a cute little gift for a sweet lover. Take a foam plastic ball. Cut it into three parts. We won't need the middle part, put it aside. Take the other two parts and cut off the tops. Continue cutting off the excess plastic to make a smooth curve. The ready halves should look like a macaroon. Add color to the dessert. Take two felt circles of a bright color. They should be bigger in size than the macaroon. The felt is a resilient material that can shape any object. Press the felt circle over the macaroon half and pull up a little at the edge, turning the detail around. Hot glue to the bottom. The macaroon base is ready. To make the macaroon look natural and stick the halves together, let's add a filling. Take a white felt strip one inch by eight inches. Fold it in half across the length, adding the hot glue in small portions. Done! Hot glue the filling, little by little, to the macaroon half. Cover the bottom of the other part with the hot glue and join the halves. Press down to attach. You can put this bright, real-like macaroon inside the exploding box and make a nice surprise for a sweet lover. You can use it as an embellishment, a keychain, or a tasty fridge magnet. You can turn it into a cute accessory really quick. Let's return to finishing the exploding box. Check how it folds. Perfectly! Make the lid. Take cardstock 10 inches by 10 inches. We've marked it out. There's a 5 inch by 5 inch square in the center and 2 and a half inches at each side. Make the same cuts you made for the small central stand box. Cut the vertical line up to the horizontal line. Repeat on each side. Score the rest of the lines to make folding easier and sharper creases. Fold the flaps and glue them clockwise to the sides. Embellish the lid with a thin ribbon. Attach the ends with the multi-purpose glue. Attach another ribbon crosswise. Tie a bow. Attach it to the lid. A nice package for a gift, isn't it? Let's see what we've got. Well, the box looks like a cute but usual gift package. But if you remove the lid, boom! Whoa, a surprise! What an incredible explosion. It's so pretty and fascinating. What is in the envelope? Here it is, a secret note in the overgates. Wow, lovely red hearts on the pins. And a colored notepad, and a charming gift as the central piece on the little stand. We've managed to create a wonderful exploding box. It may look intimidating, but it's absolutely simple. Even if you make it for the first time, you'll definitely succeed. And your little gift packed in such a lovely box will be a success too. In this video, we'll make a family scrapbook to keep photos and memories. We'll need patterned paper, white embossed cardstock, pink cardstock, frame print paper, family photos, ribbon, and multi-purpose glue. Take cardboard folded in half to make the pages. Add white glue to the upper side of the cardstock. Attach another sheet on top.
Keep in mind that the scrapbook opens from the right side. Add some glue again, repeating the steps. Make as many pages as you wish. The inner part of the scrapbook is ready. Start decorating the cover. Attach the embossed cardstock. Add multi-purpose glue to the ribbon. Wrap the ribbon around the scrapbook. Find the right place for the embellishments and a photo, thinking out the composition. Add some glue and attach the details. Done! Let's complete the inner part. Add glue to the patterned paper. Its size is a bit smaller than the page. Attach the paper. You can decorate all the pages in this way. The pink cardstock will be a background or frame. You can close the scrapbook by tying the ribbon ends together. Perfect! The cute handmade scrapbook will keep family photos and remind you of the happy moments. Leave your comments, share your ideas. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and choose a scrapbook decoration or card making idea and craft with us quickly and easily.